Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. And let me just check on the fish here and check on the hamster, check messages. Okay, good to go. <laughs> Alright, let's take back Omega. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Gray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. through the relay.
We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the General. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya. I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard. I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Shields gone! All systems failing! We can make it! Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone out. There's no time. really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Yeah, we made it. Escape pods made it. All right. What's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Arya relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Arya to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. 
Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. Tell your boss! Team, report in. Gray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. Cannons have to be stopped. <gasps> this way. The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. Done it. One of our pods. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up with these maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Hi. Approach trajectories plotted. We're already queuing up. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see.
Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. Good chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Great, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. Stir. Good. Feels good to let <sighs> the Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Please be advised Some of my men. close to the rendezvous. Let's move. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Talent symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. <clears throat> One of my soldiers by the force. Those mechs are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit! Need to check out that force field. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder.
Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Aria Talok. Nyrene, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels... My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, they'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. Arya, you were right. We're under attack. What's the fleet's status? Still landing inside the bunker. Keep the enemy out. Lock it down. Now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors.
General's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. Huh. That was rough, but I made it. Okay, let's see what else we'll have to do. We're in, lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. On that front, Nyrene, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. In fact, I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyrene has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Nyrene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Bray. Keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Let's look around a bit. See what I can do. Rock. Rock, you there? I swear, if you don't have... Commander, if you have a moment. What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks. 
tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and, well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station system. Easy enough. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board, and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Supplies are going to be tight. We had lost that ship. You mean we had lost that ship? Oh, it leads back. Okay. Just a reminder, Commander. Okay. As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. And we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nairi knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Yes, what is it? Got a minute? We need to get going. But what's on your mind? Once we recruit the Talons, how do we reach the General? I'm working on it. His command center set up an afterlife. No doubt a deliberate move to piss me off. Don't let it get to you. He wants you off balance. Anger helps me focus. Those strange force fields are blocking access to much of the station, including afterlife. So after we complete our current objective, I'll be looking for a way to get around them. Enough talk. Is there anything else or can we move on? It seems like there's more to Nyreen than meets the eye. You mean her disappearing act? Honestly, I'm not concerned. If it was anyone else, I'd want blood, but Nyreen's a variable I can control. She believes in a code of ethics. She oozes virtue. You two must have made an interesting pair. Opposites attract, right? Our connection was powerful but doomed. Nyreen demonstrated zero flexibility. She couldn't put up with the challenges of my life. That's all you're getting out of me on this subject, Shepard. Anything else? You're off the hook for now. Good. I'll meet you at the exit by the armory. Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. I... Good luck out there. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. 
Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Commander, confirming Cerberus activity in your area. Let's see if I can hack their comm system. That's odd. Why would they leave crates of red sand lying around like this? Maybe they had something more important going on. Not Darius. Prophet is the only thing that matters to him. Anything else can burn. <clears throat> the terminal is active. Thank you, Commander. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the Talons are given as good as they get. Understood.
like. Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyrene, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right, then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Rampart mechs incoming!
This way. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Reports coming in, but they show top forces on the catwalks. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Nyrene to bait. Need an engineer at the catwalk center. Door jammed again. This may take a moment.
I need to get to my people. Boss? It's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters. And I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Here, we found more medical supplies. All yours. I thank you. We're online. Just reported into the boss. Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. 
and I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to bring you in fast. Your are exactly what I needed. Thanks. 
tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife upon taking over. I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. As just sent out a warning notice. We're heading out soon. Huh. Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in five. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be your only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me. And I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our sorry friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return... I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. I appreciate it, Nairi. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready.
at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax, they're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. What's that sound? An agent. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder! the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! <laughs> Unload on it! Narni, wake up! should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. Another one. 
fire at will. Shepard, look alive. More adjutant. Elevator's on its way. We can't let them escape. Try the elevator again. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door. Just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes, the creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. across the way. We need to find an alternate route across. Like that goes under the conveyor belt. The bastards are running this place too hot. It'll burn out in a month. Stay focused.
going to get us there. Made it. Hit the switch. They know our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. Looks like Cerberus invaded here. Killed everyone. Now we're paying them back in kind. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. Careful, this place is falling apart. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just warm up. There's the reactor. Straight ahead. Like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. Why don't you do this in person, Petrovsky? Get your own hands dirty. I take no pleasure in any of this, Commander. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, 
but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this! Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way then. Nyrene, Max! do this, Commander. There's more at stake than you know. That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards across the station. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down! Shepard, don't! Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. It's commendable. But it might take a while. Maybe if I was a stupid grunt.
so be it. All units, battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. Never better. That makes two of us. You brought all your skill to bear and accomplished the task without sacrificing lives. I applaud you. Shepard remains cool under pressure. Mind clear, shit together. Take a good, hard look. That's what fearlessness looks like. What are you driving at, Arya? You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting. Ray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels.
up the catwalk, but we can extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Let's go. you wanted. Sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? We need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. We're hitting less resistance. I think they're sending forces your way. They're messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take care of the bomb, Shepard. I'll handle Cerberus. Over here. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing through the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flight covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyreen out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. 
Cerberus. How do you know that? You to town. Never mind. Like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population, before host with the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass them. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The door's unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Take out the t- 
Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Irene Candros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Candros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. <laughs> the prototypes for our future army. Keep 
Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. For my partner, and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. You and your Alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. 
Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You and I may even become friends. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. For a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this. Command Center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Tok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station, and everyone inside it, is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. And there we go. We took back Omega. the chessboard. Solarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. 
Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Guess who? Not Rex. <laughs> and I'm not just some junkyard veteran. You unleash mm, whenever me. you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this war... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most.
This is the Solarian home world we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? <laughs> moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Okay, we're gonna have to stop here for today. Got places I need to be. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see.